So that's it. We've left. We've left the EU. Good God, what are we doing? It's like walking down a black tunnel with no light at the end. It's the end. It's over. We're finished. Britain is done. We're no longer great. Britain, as we know, will sink into a giant void within the earth and we will be no more. Oh my God. <laughs> We're no longer united. We're split right down the middle. It's a tragedy. David Cameron's out. It's all over. We're finished. That's it. It's done. It's done. Or is it? Okay, it's it's not that bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I went through some moments this morning. I went through some moments. I was like, oh shit, where am I gonna go? Spain looks nice this time of year. I can move to Canada, maybe. I, I was just thinking of options. I'm thinking of options. I'm thinking of where I can go. And then I got to my third cup of coffee. And I thought, you know what? This is fucking stupid. Because, let's be honest, we haven't made this bed. And I, when I say we, I mean the people who voted Remain. I voted Remain, I wanted to stay. Whatever, it's fine. We're, we're over it. We're over it. I'm over it. I'm getting over it. I'm not over it yet. We'll see. Okay, cool. But we're out. Nonetheless, we're done. We're, we're done with the EU. And that's okay. And I'm going to keep telling myself that until I believe it. Because we're still one whole country. We're still one nation. We're still one people. And we can still vote and make decisions on how we move forward. And I actually put up a Facebook post myself that I'm looking at. I'm going, no, that's not cool, Dan. You shouldn't have done that. I did say, you know, don't fuck this up. Don't ruin it for everyone. I still have some power here. I still have some control over what happens next. So I'm going to use my head and I'm going to think about this carefully. Don't be fucking lazy like some of you were and you didn't even vote. You... Anyway, it's over. I get over it. So what are the positive spins on this? Well, apparently we can make our own laws. No, okay, there's a positive spin on this. So apparently, th and this was it, it was funny, because actually it was at the end of a video I watched with Nigel Farage, who was like, I didn't make a promise about the NHS. I didn't even bother to look it up. I'm sure he probably did, but didn't. It was probably so ambiguous that it was kind of like, it sounded like he made a promise that loads of money was going to go to the NHS, but actually it wasn't a promise, so he could back out of it. Whatever, that's what they do. That's, that's, that's literally what they do. They go, I kind of promise, but don't really promise that this will happen. But if it doesn't, that means that I didn't really promise it. But I'm going to make it sound like a promise so someone can pick it up, package it as though it was a promise, and then send it out into the world so that everyone thinks that I made a promise, but actually I didn't make a promise. <laughs> but it was at the end of the video, uh, the morning television, where he did say that he wanted to build relationships with the Commonwealth. It all suddenly was like, <laughs> like fucking Commonwealth, hello, I didn't, I forgot about, I completely forgot about that. Now, I wouldn't have considered them, uh, if I, you know, voted Remain, I would have been like, cool, let's stay the same, whatever, da, 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 which is actually something else I wanted to tack on to as well. But I suddenly thought, oh my God, the, uh, the, the Commonwealth. I didn't forget about the Commonwealth. We can build our relationships with the Commonwealth. We should build our relationships. We should build our relationships with the Commonwealth. Why? Because we're fucked. But I'm also aware that a lot of countries around the world have also kind of gone, Britain, what are you doing? What's, what, what are you doing? What are you playing at? What is this? Stop it. No, 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 no. It's kind of as though the whole family's come together for an intervention to watch while this kid's decided he wants to leave home and be independent. And some people are like, yeah, man, you go for it. Go for your independence. Go get it. Mm, good for you. Da -da -da -da. And the rest of the family are kind of like, um, I mean, did you have any plans? You haven't finished school yet. Did you have plans? What are you gonna, what are you gonna do for work? What are you gonna do for, uh, do you know where you're gonna live? And the kid's just like, nah man, fuck it, oh, whatever. I've seen people make it on their own before. Like, look at Bill Gates, he left college early, didn't he? So he'll make it and I can too, so I'm gonna do that. But have you got a job lined up? Nah, whatever, fuck it. Uh, okay, all right then, okay, good luck, uh, have fun. But no, we should build our relationships with the Commonwealth. Cause who's in the Commonwealth? Uh, I need to Google it. Hello, where is list? Give me list, darling. He Hello. Learn to Google, Dan. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, I don't know what I'm looking at. Whoa, that's a lot of countries. Wow. I mean, really? Really? There's a lot. Of, that's a lot of con 53 are members of the Commonwealth. Re wow. The okay. I mean, so... Hmm, yeah, we really need to work on this, guys. I mean, this is a long list. It's a good, it's a good list. Uh, there's some good players up here, man. I mean, we've got like Australia. Hey, what's up? What's up, Australia? I don't know why I'm doing the accent. Sorry, guys. Papua New Guinea. We've got New Zealand up here. I don't know why I said Papua New Guinea. Like, I know what's up with them. I don't know what's up with them. What's up with you guys? Talk to me. Hello. You all right? And I know there's one country up here that I want to know about. Where are you? Where are you, darling? Where are you? I know you're up here. Oh, there you are. Oh. Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh. So there's actually still some countries that we can build some good relationships with, which is really nice to know, and they're good countries. I just feel as though if you want to improve uh, relations with them, I kind of get the impression that we want to do it a little bit like this. 
Please. 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 I heard there's also India and Pakistan. Is that right? I'm not sure. But nonetheless, still, great stuff. Cool. And I hope that that's basically where we put our focus from this point forward. Because let's be honest, we need them. We can't do without them. I didn't like this whole, like, yeah, do it by yourself, independence, woo, we're all on our own. Because, nah, no, no. Maybe this is just a demonstration of my lack of knowledge about history, but I can't name a single country that's really done anything completely on their own and succeeded, you know, and really come out on top. I do, you know, want to go, well done to the Brexiters for getting this done, congratulations. But at the same time, like, Britain by ourselves, mm, eh. And so obviously I want to make sure that everything we do from this point forward is, is for the best. I mean, take a look. Take a look at who we can, you know, rock it with and all of them. Mmm. Mmm. Just... Mm. So here's the positive spin, guys. While while we have left the EU, and that's such a shame, how about we start building our relationships with the Commonwealth? How about we start doing that? Let's, let's do that. That should be the next thing that we do. Fuck, you know, all the things that Nigel Farage promised. Fuck, fuck that. Let's just work on our own shit where we just, we just build relationships with the rest of the world. Because obviously we thought Europe wasn't good enough for us. Well, the EU, not Europe. That's not fair. Europe, that's geographical. EU is political. They're two different things, by the way, everyone. So some of you have been saying, oh, if we leave the EU, does that mean that we're like, we're not part of Europe anymore? No, no. So I, I do, I think we should get on that. I, I, I genuinely do. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know what we can do and then we start, but I might start looking into it and seeing what we can do. But yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video about things staying the same and how people wanted to vote remain because they wanted to things stay the same. Now, basically, the idea of Brexit was that there was just a big black hole. We didn't know what the hell we were going into. And in some areas, that's exciting, but not when your children's lives are at stake, not when your livelihood's at stake, not when your future's at stake. It's not really something you want to just go, let's just throw everything into the ether and see what happens. Oh! No, that's not, uh, that's not how I want to move forward at all. I'd like things to be calculated I'd like to know what's gonna go on now we're here I'm gonna have to make sure that it feels exciting because otherwise I'm just gonna be filled with dread yeah people like things to stay the same and it's because it's safe we like things to stay the same because it's safe, it's it's comfortable, it's, you know, mm, it's 2.4 children, it's the nuclear family, it's it's mm, safety net, yeah, plan B, ooh, mm, I love that, let's just cozy in on that little jobby right there. That's the problem, that is actually the problem, and I'm not gonna lie, I, 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 I realised this after everything had happened. During this, the course of this morning when I was going through my hysterical phases, I realized this is the problem. We want things to stay safe. We want things to remain the same. Now, is that necessarily a good thing? No, it's not. It's not actually a good thing. Purely because change is what makes the world better. That's how things have progressed forward as they have. That's how things evolve. That's how, that's how we make a better world for everyone through change, through difference. This is how we make things better, really. Now, I'm not going to say that Brexit was necessarily a good idea because it was built on a foundation of bleh, but we can make a good thing out of this because indeed it is a change and that is how you make things better. That is how you do it. Oh God, excuse me, coffee. You make things better through change. If you stay the same or if you remain the same for the entire time, how can you expect anything to get better? Because for it to get better, you need to change it. I can't make this point clearer enough, so I'm gonna stop. But you see where I'm going and you see what I mean. It's really up to us now to ensure that whatever decisions we make going forward now, we get everyone on board, we get everyone involved, and we make sure they make good decisions. This coffee is killing me, man. I am blushing. But this is it. This is what we have to do now. This is where we are. Okay? So let's just remember that while it would have been nice to have remained in the EU for everything to stay the same and everything to be comfortable, actually, this is an opportunity. And that's a word that I've been sick of hearing for the last bloody month. But nonetheless, this is an opportunity. And we should take this opportunity and go because if we don't if we lie back and cry and moan and think the world's gonna end and blah 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 then let's be honest that's what's gonna happen it's a self-fulfilled prophecy because we aren't gonna do shit because we already think that we've lost we haven't lost anything nothing's actually really happened just yet really yeah okay the pound's gone down but that's predictable because of course that would happen anyway because people were like, well, what the fuck are you doing, Britain? What's going on? What's going to be your next step? We don't know. You clearly don't have a fucking clue. So we're just going to just act like you're just having a little, like you're having a drugs binge or something, like you're having a party.
party with hookers and booze and we're just going to lower the value of everything you're doing right now let's just <laughs> but let's just get together let's just have a little you know chat sensible chat about what's going to happen next because actually what we might find out is that pretty much everything works the same it always did but with improvements which is good which is good so that's all I have to say in this video. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have anything to say, leave a comment down in the uh, comment boxes below because where else would you leave them? And of course, if you want to see more, you know what to do. Although I realize that a lot of you will never have seen my videos before, so you don't know what to do. Uh, what I'm talking about is that typical thing that everyone asks you to do at the end of every video, which is to like, comment, and share the video, which I I'm gonna hate doing. But I'm gonna say that once here, and then from now on, you know what to do in the videos when you watch more of them. Thank you very much, everyone. You have a lovely day and a lovely future. Here's to you. Goodbye.